hearing from Marilyn Bruno. And Marilyn is going to be speaking with us about antimicrobial resistance. Uh, yeah. Acor yeah. is a biotech company that develops green non-toxic chemical compounds that can replace toxic biocides used in agro-industrial, consumer, and medical products. So I'm going to uh, ask you to translate that for us, Marilyn, in the next 20 minutes. <laughs> of course. I'm going to share my screen and that'll, it'll all come clear. Sure. Yeah. So Acor means the sea in Latin. The sea meaning like the ocean. So uh, there are a few things we're going to talk about today. Our, our motto is anti-biofilm, and we're going to talk about what is biofilm. It has great bearing on the subject of antimicrobial resistance, or AMR. And these are the superbugs, the bacteria and fungi for which there are no cures. So let's see what that means. Most bacteria and fungi form biofilm. Now you know it as plaque on your teeth. You can brush and swish all you want, but the bacteria are, that are invading your gums are creating biofilm. Uh, and it is impossible to brush off or swish away. You have to have it scraped off. The same is true of all biofilm. And most bacteria and fungi are biofilm formers. It enables them to attach to surfaces, making them up to a thousand times harder to remove. And they, it also builds a shield around them. And that shield is impenetrable by sterilization, um, disinfectants, another word for biocides, antibiotics, and the immune system. Uh, you can scrape it off, that works. But what are you going to do if you have cystic fibrosis, which is biofilm in your lungs? You can't scrape everything. And worse, biofilm spreads after it builds and builds. It spreads in the air, in water, and on contact. So unlike COVID, which only really transmits from person to person or possibly animal to person, mostly uh, through the air, um, bacterial and fungal biofilm formers can spread through everything, in food, in water, on surfaces. It's just calamity. So of course, uh, the next pandemic threat is, at, is estimated to be from a bacteria or fungus and not from a virus. Just to give you an idea of how insidious biofilm is, it was found on a titanium plate within 30 seconds after the plate was sterilized. What does that mean? It means it's in the air. It's transmitted in uh, air conditioners and so forth. More bad news, there is no reliable rapid diagnostic for biofilm. Once it's there, it takes a couple of days to figure out that it is there and there are no cures. So every antimicrobial resistant superbug is a biofilm former, and this is a huge threat for all of us, particularly because uh, of hospital acquired infections. And I'll talk about that more in the next slide, but biofilm is associated with 90% of hospital acquired infections from catheters, respirators, etc. And as I said, every threat is a biofilm former. You will recognize some of these. This is cholera, this is uh, plague, and so forth, the bio threats as well. The Gates Foundation predicted 10 to 50, 50 million deaths from AMR pathogens once the pandemic hits. So in 2016, the United Nations took action and declared AMR the biggest threat to mankind's survival. And I was so honored to be a speaker at that uh, General Assembly meeting on biofilm and One Health, which says you can't, you can't control a pandemic from AMR uh, spread unless you are controlling three things, animals, people, and the environment. That was revolutionary at the time, 2016. By 2019, before COVID, already 2.7 million Americans had 
acquired AMR infections and 32,000 died. But last April, the CDC reported that 20% of COVID deaths were in fact from AMR. So why aren't you hearing about this? We don't know. It's like a sad little secret, but it's as if Americans cannot uh, face reality. This is a devastating reality. And what's happening in India right now is a collapse of their economy because the healthcare costs are just crushing. And they are saying that 99% of the deaths are from hospital acquired infections. Uh, who knows? But anyway, ACOR, it means the C in Latin. This was our inspiration. Our founder looked at this picture literally and said, there's something here that is nature's remedy for biofilm. Bi if there was biofilm on these surfaces, it would, they would be covered with barnacles, mussels, and algae. They're not. What is nature's mechanism to inhibit the formation of biofilm on surfaces that's going to attract barnacles, mussels, and algae? And she discovered novel marine microbes, including a new genus and several new species, which she named. Her name is Cynthia Brazil. And uh, these uh, microbes produce hundreds of natural chemicals that inhibit biofilm formation. Well, it took us 10 years to screen all of those uh, microbes and chemicals. And now we have a portfolio of 70 chemicals. Some are for industrial uses, but I'm gonna talk about the ones that are for medical uses because we want to save the world. And why not? It's gonna save ourselves as well. The chemicals that Cynthia discovered prevent biofilm formation for days. That is extremely unique. They also remove existing biofilm in minutes, totally unique. And they also kill the main uh, antimicrobial resistant pathogens that are responsible for most of the deaths. And uh, here's a example of validation testing that Lanza did. They tested Staphylococcus aureus uh, AMR version, and that is the amount of biofilm that was formed rather quickly. And in the presence of ACOR, 99.99% was removed. And this was uh, seen at different concentrations, including a very teeny concentration that's too low to trigger resistance. That's a wow. And Lanza said, quote, nothing else known can do this at non-toxic doses. Then we had validation showing biofilm prevention for long periods of time, including 48 hours or more. So in a hospital setting, that's pretty impressive. If you have an, uh, an implant, a hip implant, for example, biofilm usually forms right away, causing great problems in, in uh, indwelling medical devices. But this will prevent biofilm formation for a long time. <clears throat> this is the slide that excites me the most. I hope you can follow this because it's called potentiation. So what we see here are MRSA and VERSA, two of the superbugs. They will resist treatment by methicillin, gentamicin, penicillin, and vancomycin. They will not be killed. And if you administer doses like this, the patient will die. So you can't administer these mega doses anyway. But with a tiny amount of ACORS chemical and a tiny amount of methicillin, boom, they both are killed. The same for gentamicin, the same for penicillin, and the same for vancomycin. Now, every country of the world has penicillin, so we're pretty excited that we would be able to uh, save millions of lives by potentiating penicillin to work against superbugs. 
<clears throat> but for those of you who know FDA, this is a very long and hugely expensive pathway, as it's called. Uh, so we have advanced a little bit, but then came a big breakthrough. Uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci himself saw our data and said, I'm going to give you free preclinical trials to bring you at least to this point. And we signed the contract, and ACOR is now looking for partner to scale up our natural chemicals and not to make novel new drug candidates so we can start those trials and not to be outdone the department of defense army medical research institute for infectious diseases said we're also going to give you free preclinical trials because anthrax plague tularemia and botulism are major biofilm threats in, uh, in the category of bioterrorist threats or bio threats. So we're advancing slowly on the medical side, but boom, came a big breakthrough. Deep sea to deep space, ACOR is there. We learned that biofilm forms thicker and faster in space because the bacteria and fungi are exposed to radiation, temperature swings, all sorts of you know, environmental stressors. And today, this is the inside of the cabin of the International Space Station, there were identified over 130 biofilm forming pathogens. There are no cure for them. So we did a many projects with NASA the uh, most significant one was that every astronaut returning to Earth had a biofilm related infection from the life support system for water. And that's what it looks like. And uh, the bacteria were now resistant to silver, <clears throat> which is what they had been using. And uh, biofilm clogging the pipes, causing corrosion, but most of all, causing contamination and infection. And boom, ACOR's chemicals were used. And as reported by NASA, one dose prevented bacteria and biofilm for 15 months without replenishment in the water reuse recycling system. That's a wow, we won NASA prizes for that. And uh, more importantly, cheers, these astronauts can now drink clean water. So basically that system takes all liquid that is produced by the astronauts, meaning urine, sweat, and soapy water from showering and everything else, and ambient humidity and then recycles it into clean water. It's very complex, but it is a major problem. And NASA had actually said that biofilm was the number one uh, problem in inhibiting long duration manned space travel because no one would arrive alive on Mars if they didn't have the clean water, it's life support. So that was pretty exciting. And uh, we have uh, hopefully in August or sometime when it's scheduled, an experiment of ours will be flying up to the International Space Station for um, decontaminating surfaces. So our value proposition back to Earth, back to saving, saving us all here on Earth, you know, we have products that are very revolutionary, uh, both uh, for uh, hospitals and doctors and patients, but also for industry. And uh, while we have opportunities to look forward to medical device coatings and, da, 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 and other prophylactics in medicine, this is a very long pathway. So what we're immediately selling are our chemicals as ingredients to replace toxic biocides, uh, surface cleaners and water treatments. And uh, we also provide, of course, biofilm and microbial testing services.